there's a lot of media members that don't like Tim Tebow because there's a lot of Southern Republicans that love Tim Tebow, Christian Republicans. Tim Tebow, official in Jacksonville. He signs his contract. He's reporting uh, to the mini camp. They release a, a, a press release just to, to uh, localize it a bit. It, the press release reminded me of like Javon Kirsch returning to the Titans after he had spent uh, his career and left and went to Philly, came back to the Titans as the, the former draft pick, Urban Meyer, welcoming in uh, Tim Tebow as a tight end. And the press release with the quotes uh, for the 90th man on the roster is, is funny. It's laughable. Uh, but here we go. Here comes the, the hoopla and all of the mystique around whether or not he's going to make the roster when it's all said and done. But he's headed to training camp with the Jacksonville Jaguars to make it official. The reaction to Tim Tebow has been the story, whether overwhelmingly good or overwhelmingly negative. The fact that Tim Tebow may make the back end of the roster or probably won't, that's, that's not the story. It's everyone in the media's reaction to the story. And I'll say the ugly truth about it, that no one really, not many people are going to say it. There's a lot of media members that don't like Tim Tebow because there's a lot of Southern Republicans that love Tim Tebow, Christian Republicans. That's what they're never going to tell you, but it's the truth. They don't like the people who love Tim Tebow, so they now hate Tim Tebow and they write bad things about Tim Tebow. I, I like Tim Tebow the person. I think he's a great person. I think he stands for a lot of great things. And I do not begrudge Tim Tebow. But I do think that there's an underserved opinion out there, and mine's one of them, that just simply has an issue with anyone that gets opportunities like this where they really have not earned them. And I, I do think that there's a group of people in the middle that feel that way about Tim Tebow. And they don't hate Tim Tebow. They hate the opportunity it represents. And I think that's human nature to respond that way. And just take it with anyone. Take Tim Tebow out of it. Take anyone who's been out of a game or a sport for seven or eight years, and you see all these people that are coming out of college or that you know, are trying hard to make the end of a roster that aren't getting the opportunities, and they see Tim Tebow, who it's sort of like the CEO's nephew getting a gig that's high paying. That's, it's not a high paying gig, but you see my point. This. Yes. this is like a familial, incestuous, Oh, Urban Meyer coached you in college. Because yeah, he's not You're in the league, it's not for Meyer. I'm going to give you a chance, and there's some tight end working his ass off that's not getting that opportunity. I think it's human nature to not like that situation and not like that opportunity, and I think that's okay also. But the ugly truth of it is people that defend Tebow and that love Tebow, they're on one side, and there's a lot of people hating Tim Tebow and everything he's about for the reason I just said because there are a ton of Southern Republican Christians that love Tim Tebow, and they despise those people. That's the God's honest truth. And they're using the cover of well, he's taking some They're never spot. going to admit that. There are a few people that actually admit it. You know, I've seen a few people saying, uh, I forget the media member, someone said, I hate Tim Tebow because everyone who voted for Donald Trump loves Tim Tebow, oh. <laughs> is what they said. And, I, and I'm thinking to myself, well, at least you're honest about it. Because I think there's a lot of people out there, Dan Wolken, is one of them that are honest about it. They rip Tim Tebow, they hate Tim Tebow for the reason I just said.